shall do. This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. The entrance must be on the other side. Where's a decent saw when you need one? Shoddy. Very shoddy. Where's a decent saw when you need one? Useless. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard I never of... said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. The war with the Vanya had only just ended and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the elves' immortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more. Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svalfelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy-eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broca. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need.
shelter must be nearby. Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the Ganger. Ganger? Yeah. The chief. Name's Oakland. Evaldi sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Times it stung me. Three on the hand, then the neck, oh, then on my eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel, a big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah. 
the special meat. Sutunga's special meat? What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for him. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethor, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Evildee with the job that he'd done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. So many stars. They will explore ah, the sweet sound of mead, fouled by the stench of more spells. Yakko, too. Going to see 
Sentry's nose would have guided him here. Sentry, all this trouble for a few gulps of mead. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. Surely there is some sign of Sindri here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. Taking a bath in it. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. This place reeks of misery. More than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. It's likely Sindri was brought here many days ago. But not too late. Oh, my eyes.
This place is heavily guarded. The giants have no mercy. When I face them, I will show them none. Stolen. I can sense that the Salaga was satisfied on this occasion. Was this Calder's first victim? That amulet, the sigil, Sindri, reckless fool, all this was a meat. Oh well, it is done. I must return the body to Barovia.
Muspel, a Jotun dwarf. Who knows what else? Not the our missing master. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with broker. I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes, I've seen him do it many times in the workshop. Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh, but then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. Yes. 
Sindri, you son of a rock. Where did you hide your tools? How can I tell Brocco we're missing the tools? Not now. I need time to grieve. Oh. Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Ailthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri? To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Brocker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I'd be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well... I prefer to keep my feet on the ground, right where they should be. <laughs> I'm very fond of the dwarves, yet their constant needs is exhausting. Oh, Loki. Friend, betrayer. What I'd give for a moment of your gilded conversation. Even the lies. Easily enough. Finally, the tools of Sindri's trade. with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. Disaster has been averted. Oh, 
Now I see why some call you God! You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't the dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. You must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well... You know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. My brother, a true master. He was, uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. 
I saw it in a vision. Come, let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that meat. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think.